So I just want to quickly go over a couple of things on this second test build. This test build is specifically for the sake of making sure the multiplayer functionality is all behaving as expected. A um, couple of things to go over real quick. Uh, you will need a controller. You will need either a PlayStation 4 controller or an Xbox One controller. Either of those will work. Uh, this is, if you're not familiar with this game, um, it is a it is designed for VR, but you do not need a VR headset. You can play without it just fine. Uh, so in the description of this video, there will be a link to the Danger Quest Studios Twitter account, and follow that link to the Twitter account, and there will be a link to the download there. It will take you to Mega here. Click on the download, and you will get this zip file here. Extract your zip file, the files from the zip uh, folder anywhere you please, and then just run the executable here, test build 2. After a couple minutes, it'll start up, and you can jump into multiplayer. But uh, first, let me show you how to get your VR headset running if you're playing in VR. So jump down to options and then just hit VR enable. Now you'll notice that I am off center at the moment. You can fix that just by hitting face the direction you want to face and then hit spacebar and it will recenter you, uh, recenter the game to you. So then you can just back out of that. And as I mentioned, this is uh, specifically for multiplayer here. You can play solo, but uh, we're gonna jump into multiplayer and you have the option to either host or join. Now I should mention that this is just for testing purposes, so I'm using Unity's test um, server, so I have a limited capacity as to how many concurrent users can be on there at once, so you might run into a problem depending on how many people uh, are trying to play this. Um, if there's more than 50, then you're not gonna be able to play on the multiplayer. You can still play the solo just fine. Um, but so that might be an issue you run into, but um, uh, just uh, I would recommend clicking the join first and seeing what uh, lobbies are out there. So the uh, lobby names are just randomly generated. They're just two words stuck together. Um, so you can, in this case, there's just this one lobby. I got my um, laptop running in the back there and it's hosting this lobby. So we're going to go ahead and jump in here. Takes a minute to load. And there are our two characters. Our host is on the left and we are on the right. Um, you can see the controls to ready up and to back out of the lobby are up in the middle there above our characters. And you can see the information for each of the characters below. Just hit left and right on your analog to scroll through them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, select Betty Poyle here, ready up, and I'm going to go jump over onto my laptop here and ready up the host. Give me one moment. Okay, and as you're waiting for the host to load in, you might just see a star field. Uh, the host has finally loaded in here, and now we can... I'm going to recenter myself. I happen to be looking off in another direction when the match started here. Um, so another thing uh, to mention is that there is voice chat. So I have actually turned off the volume so you uh, won't get an echo here. But uh, it's pr proximity voice chat. So when you're in the lobby, you should be able to talk to each other just fine. Um, and outside of the lobby when you're actually in the game you do have to be within a certain range of each other to hear each other talk. Um, another thing to mention is that there are the enemies are wolves and you can the, turn on or off if you're the host you can turn on or off whether or not the wolves spawn in um, by hitting the W key and you can just uh, spawn in a wave of wolves by hitting the E key if uh, you want to test out the enemies. But um, yeah, so you can 
other than that, um, the only other thing I will mention is uh, when a player dies, they do not get uh, kicked out of the game. Um, they will, their character will disappear, and they'll still have be able to move their camera around. Um, this is not like the long term solution. This is just kind of like uh, temporary make getting getting everything to work solution. Um, but uh, the point of that is that. If, if if people are just getting kicked out, oh, our host is being murdered by a wolf. There, the wolf spawned in. Um, well, I'm out of ammo. That's have to do with the old axe. Um, the uh, yeah, if it, if a character dies, um, they will uh, disappear, but. The uh, I'm getting a, a, hearing a little bit of echo from my uh, uh, being in proximity to my laptop, but um, the uh, you will still be able to move around. Uh, you just won't be able to do anything. But that's to so you are still in control of your camera, which is pretty important in a VR game. Uh, a lot of games would just have you watch another character, but problem with that is if you're not controlling the uh, movement of your camera that could cause some motion sickness so um, you still control yourself uh, you can't do anything uh, and I started to say you the reason that uh, I don't just kick you out is because if, if the host leaves the game ends so uh, but the another thing to keep in mind is that you will not ever be kicked out of the game so uh, if the game is over you will have to you will have to uh, hit the start button and then choose to quit the game to actually leave. So I'm going to do that now. Leave our hero there to die. Um, but yeah, so uh, last thing I would say is any any feedback you have, you can send to me via the uh, uh, Twitter account or uh, if, if you found this through Reddit, you can send it PM me on Reddit or um, leave a comment in the uh, YouTube. Any any constructive feedback is is definitely welcome. Um, also, would be helpful if you have the ability to record using OBS or whatever you would use to record a game. Um, if you could record it and then when you have problems, um, send me uh, you know a link to to the video so I have a, I can see where there's problems cropping up. But yeah, um, give it a go, play around, talk to each other, and uh, let me know how it goes. Thank you guys very much.